Hey Math 31, I had a question on number 73. So we're being asked to find the equation of the function from the graph. And just things to take note here as I'm going through this, I see I have an x-intercept here, an x-intercept here, and a y-intercept here. And, and with that, I can pretty much get my graph. I also will take note that my right end is up, which means I'll have a positive lead coefficient and my left end is down. So those are all things that I take a look at as I'm going through here. And, and I'm gonna start with my x-intercept. So I'm gonna start with this negative 200 and positive 500 thing. And really, I also wanna take note here, note that this touches the x-axis here, whereas this x-intercept, this crosses through the x-axis. And why I mention that is because I know the multiplicity here is going to be, and when I say here, at the negative 200, that's going to have an odd multiplicity. But over here at 500, we're going to have an even multiplicity. So if I start to piece this together, all right, I'll have f of x. It's going to be some stretch factor. And I have two x-intercepts, so I'm going to use those. So let me just change colors here so we can start to map this out. So when I have negative 200, that's going to be x plus 200 heading into here. And when I have positive 500, that's going to be x minus 500 heading in here. Now, as I take a look at this, again, as I said, this is going to have an odd multiplicity, this one, because it crossed the x-axis, and this one's going to have an even multiplicity. So I'm just going to put the square there for right now to, to handle that. So as I started to go through this, the last thing I need to figure out is my a value. If I could do that, then I'm, I'm done with this graph, or at least done with finding this equation. And as I said before, since my right end is up, that means a's got to be positive. It's got to be greater than zero. Well, I have this ordered pair here, right? This is really an x, y coordinate uh, an xy ordered pair. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to take that x value of 0 and plug it in here and here, and I'm going to take that y value of 50 million and plug it in here. And when I do that, I'm going to be able to solve for a because that's going to be the only letter left. So let me scroll down just a bit so we can see my work here. Uh, it looks like I wrote, if I if I start looking at this, I wrote the x-intercepts in the other order. It looks like I wrote the 500 one first and the 200 one next, whereas I wrote the 200 one first and the 500 one second. So I'm just flipping the order. All right, so then let me change this back to, we'll go to a nice green. All right, so here you start to see me working through this, right? I plugged zero in for x, so I plugged it into the first factor and the second factor, but I let my y value be equal to 50 million. And so when we do all of this math, believe it or not, it looks really ugly because there's so many zeros on it, but when you wind up solving for a here, a is just one, so that's why you see my function simplifying to this. So, so that's what we got, my two zeros, or I should say my two x-intercepts, and I've got a multiplicity of two because it touched that one x-intercept touched the x-axis, and then I'm good to go. All right, thanks so much. Bye.